All right, hey there, everybody. Dave Souza from Fry and Bacon Productions. Um, since it's a little bit scattered and a lot of people haven't been involved in Android publishing just because of the sound delay issues, which in a later video I'm going to go through the methodology that I use to kind of uh, work around. I know they've got a patch coming out, but they haven't specifically said when it's coming. So I'm going to show you the, those tricks and tips anyways of, of what I did. And I, and I actually got my, uh, my apps uh, went on to um, <clears throat> the regular uh, Android store as well as um, the Amazon uh, Android store. And we're just waiting approval for the Kindle Fire. So uh, I'm going to address those couple and then if we get our approval for the Kindle Fire, then I'm going to show you how I how I parsed all that stuff with the screen and whatnot. So we're just going to start with um, basic Android publishing, um, how you go about setting up to uh, do Android publishing with Game Salad. Now, one of the first things I want to address is, and we hear this question a lot in the forums, is is uh, do I need to be a pro member to do Android publishing? And the and the answer is yes. It is it is a pro feature. Um, I know that you see it come up and whatever, but uh, I know that some people are doing a workaround to test their devices, test their stuff on their devices, and I'm not sure if that's copacetic with GS. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but uh, you cannot you can uh, build them. But you can't uh, publish and uh, and I guess test them uh, according to Game Salad. So if you are a pro member, and uh, this is how you're going to begin your setup. The first thing you want to do is um, you want to come to the Android developers website. You can just type it in the Google. Um, you know, type in Android developers. It comes up at the top of the list. Uh, I'll put a link on the website right to it actually I'm just gonna link all this um, different stuff uh, so you can find it and <clears throat> what you want to do is the Mac OS this version right here you want to click on this and you want to download it you will come into your downloads folder and uh, unzip it and uh, get it on there and then we're we're done with that and I'll just show you I already have mine so you want to make sure that the f unlike um, um, Mac, the Mac developer stuff where um, you have to have Xcode actually at your root. Um, so the developer, if you ever, if you've ever looked, the developer um, doesn't show up in your regular um, home folder. For Apple, it needs to be <clears throat> at root, so it needs to be right in your at your Macintosh hard drive level. Uh, you see, this is the this is Xcode right here. Um, for uh, a uh, Android what you want to do is have it at, at your home folder level. So you want to make sure you're at your home folder and you want to, that the file comes um, named something different. You want to make sure you uh, get it in there and then you name it SDK. Alright, so change the name to lowercase SDK. Put your, put the file right here at the, at the root level of your, of your home folder. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, open it up and you're going to go to this tools folder right here okay and then you're going to come come over here and now see all these little black things what that means is if you're unfamiliar with the terminal is that that's a terminal uh, program so um that's actually going to bring up the terminal so we're going to double click on the uh, on the android thing here and it's going to boot up our terminal which is where we put in Unix commands. Um, the Mac is built off of Unix. So what that's going to do is just give it a minute. It's going to bring up the Android SDK manager. Okay. And you're going to see here that, <clears throat> all right, I've got all this stuff installed and I actually recently did an, did an update. So you've got to, you know, just like Game Salad and Xcode, you've got to make sure that, you know, you keep this stuff updated. Okay. Um, so periodically, you know, you should boot this up and uh, check it. I recently see update available here. Um, I uh, recently, the other day, did uh, did an update on this um, on this, and um, 
what I did was these extras down here. So when you first, let's anyways, let's get back to, I'm losing track here. So when you first get it, what you want to do is you want to update all this stuff. Now, I know that when Tenor Drummer did his, um, his first thing, he showed that he only updated down. He didn't do 1.6. Now, <clears throat> when I submitted to the Amazon App Store, it said that your stuff for the Amazon App Store has to support all the way down to 1.6. So when I did mine, I installed everything. So I'm recommending that if you want to avoid any problems, you're going to update all this stuff. If it doesn't support it for Apple, it won't. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down and you're going to click all this stuff like this. Okay, and then you're going to come down and you're going to hit install. Okay, and it's going to take a while. So just walk away and let it, you know, let it go. And it's going to, it's going to update all this stuff. Make sure you're all current. Okay, and then you'll be good. Your uh, SDK will be all up to, up to date. And then once you do that you're gonna create a key now a key works <clears throat> in the same way as uh, it's basically the Android version of um, of a provisioning profile okay so this is how you're gonna create your provisioning profile for um, for Android so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna come into the terminal so if you don't know where the terminal is it's 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 in the utilities folder in, in the uh, in your applications folder and we're going to type in key tool. Okay. And what that's going to do is that's going to start up the key tool that's inside the SDK that we just um, downloaded and updated. So forget about all this stuff. All right. We don't, we don't need any of that. Now, <clears throat> what I did was when Tenor Drummer did his first video, he basically copy and pasted... Um, the key store from the uh, sample code that they gave you on the Android developer website and there was an issue for some reason when you copy and pasted it over you discovered there was an issue with the validity uh, time on the key and um, people were getting rejected <clears throat> so what I've done is I've basically constructed this in text edit without cop I copy and pasted it and then I just reconstructed it in another um, text edit uh, file so this is all natively typed now you'll see in red here these are the two places that you need to change and I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put a link and I'm gonna put this file on the unofficial game solid guide as well so you can just download this it's just a text edit file um, you can download it and just open it in text edit and then you're gonna copy and paste it this into the terminal so, but what you're going to do is when you're in text edit, you're going to come in here and there's, there's only two things you're going to need to change. You're going to, where I've got it in red, you're going to need to put your company name or your name, whatever, okay, and then put it in here as well. So, like we put ours is um, the Gleason Group, so we put Gleason Group. You know, it, it's the same thing um, almost as your um, your bundle identifier with um with the apple store except that you don't need you don't need every uh a different one for every single app as far as in your key um you just need to make one key so you can just go with your general company name in that and you're just going to change uh, these things out here so i'm going to leave it like it is just because i already have a key so i'll make a second one that's a dummy key so we're just going to copy and paste this and then we're going to go over to the terminal. <clears throat> and we're going to come in at the insertion point. We're going to copy and paste it. And then we're going to hit return. And it's going to start creating our key. As you can see right here, it says enter key store password. So I'll just enter a password. It needs to be at least six digits. Okay, it's going to ask you to confirm it. do that it's gonna ask you for your name I put like company stuff in here but since it's just me doing I'll just put my name in there there's uh, frying bacon mm. 
whatever you can just you name your organization your organizational unit I don't know how they use that stuff but my locale is um, Falmouth and it's Massachusetts and we're in the United States so <clears throat> basically what it's done is it's asked me to put in a password that's gonna you know write it down if you use a different one it's got to be six six characters numbers or letters no special keys remember this is Unix um, put in your name or your company name however you go put in you know organization on you you can just put like app development um, and then the name of your organization um, put your city where you operate out of your state and your country and then it's gonna down here it's just gonna say this is what you've entered is this correct it says no we're gonna type in yes if it's right okay so now <clears throat> it's gonna enter a password for your company name return if it is same as keystore password so we're gonna hit return because it's gonna be the same password and it's made our key okay so now if we <clears throat> if we go up here we go into a regular folder okay see here's my key right here your company name that was the that was what we what I had written in <clears throat> in that text edit file and you'll see here here's my Gleason group media key store key but uh, this is my key store right here okay so now that we've done all that, let's just let's just go into um, into Game Salad, and I'll show you. <clears throat> I just bring up a project, bring up my uh, jump game that I'm working on for the Gleason Group. Give you a peek at that, and we're just going to hit publish. And all we're going to do is we just want to check and make sure everything's looking good. So let's just create a new game. And then let's just let's just go ahead and uh, let me grab a yeah uh, an icon, and I'm going to show you all about icons in um, the Amazon store and all that. We'll do that individually in the videos. I'm going to address each store; they're each a little different. Let's go to next. All right, <clears throat> let's go up to the Android settings here. This is what we want to look at. And we just want to see this is this is where you're going to type in your bundle identifier. See, just like this, and this is where you can change it. This is where you put put your app name in there, not like with the key. You'll just put like whatever. You put your thing in my app, and then if you use the accelerometer, and we'll go through all that stuff later. This is where you put your password in. But <clears throat> this is the key I want you to look at. You want to make sure that all this stuff is got location valid. That means that Game Salad is almost like you have to do an Xcode. Sometimes you have to make sure that. Um, that uh, they can it can see your provisioning profiles and stuff so you want to make sure that all this stuff is is valid and you, you can see it right here if it's not valid then look in your user in the inside the bin and then the, the key tool and you'd go select it and find it so look at these different um, setups okay and uh, make sure that that stuff's all found you can find it that's the files uh, uh, tree right there okay and if these are I never had any problems <clears throat> and I know Teledrummer did a video he never had any problems these things will come in come up right away once you um once you get your SDK and make your key and all that stuff so um basically that's it that's that's how you make your key that's how you get your basic setup for Android publishing I'm gonna post this video along with the link to the uh, uh, to the Android uh, uh, SDK file as well as I'm going to put this this key key store code uh, on there make it easier so you see it you know it works and um, that's how I this is exactly how I made my key and like I said I've got all my approvals so far except I'm waiting for the Kindle Fire review so <clears throat> that's uh, uh, downloading the SDK and uh, building your key store and then I'm also going to do the videos next on on publishing out of game style there'll be like uh, four videos i think in total all right have a good one guys thanks